A companion is our modifying a self. Nothing is more threatening to a solid handle on information than self-duplicity. The objective of life is living in concurrence with nature. Fortune offers me to follow reasoning with less encumbrance. Seeing that the universe brings forth creatures that are energized and insightful, would it be a good idea for it not be viewed as invigorate and savvy itself? Better to trip with the feet than with the tongue. Nobody shares confidential with an intoxicated man. However, one will share confidential with a tanked man. Subsequently, the great man won't become inebriated. Man is by all accounts lacking in nothing to such an extent as he is in time. By quietness, I hear other men's flaws and disguise my own. The voracious man resembles the desolate, sandy ground of the desert, which sucks in all the downpour and dews with ravenousness, however, yields no productive spices or plants to support others. Lavishness is its own destroyer. Joy is a decent progression of life. A terrible inclination is an upheaval of the psyche hostile to reason and against nature. The end might be characterized as life as per nature or, all in all, as per our own human instinct as well as that of the universe. All the great are companions of each other. Love is a divine being who coordinates in getting the well-being of the city. That which activities reason is more brilliant than that which doesn't practice reason, there isn't anything more great than the universe. Consequently, the universe practices reason. Steal your sensibilities with the goal that life will hurt you as little as could be expected. No malicious is fair, yet passing is good. Hence demise isn't shrewd. We have two ears and one mouth, so we ought to listen more than we say. Prosperity is accomplished by pretty much nothing and little, and by the by is no easily overlooked detail itself. Everything is portions of one single framework, which is called nature. The singular life is great when it is as one with nature. Destiny is the interminable chain of causation, by which things are the explanation or recipe by which the world goes on. Regardless of whether you guarantee a slave by buy or catch, the title is terrible. They who guarantee to possess their individual men gaze down into the pit and fail to remember the equity that ought to govern the world. We have two ears and one mouth, so we ought to listen more than we say. Prosperity is accomplished gradually and in any case is no. Easily overlooked detail itself. The justification for why we have two ears and just a single mouth is that we might listen the more and talk the less. We have two ears and one mouth. Consequently, we ought to listen to times however much we talk. Nothing is more unfriendly to a solid handle on information than self-misdirection. No misfortune ought to be more deplorable to us than losing our time for it's lost. In the case of being is many, it should be both like and dissimilar to, and this is unimaginable, for neither could the like at any point be not at all like, nor the dissimilar to like. At the point when a canine is attached to a truck to follow, it is pulled and follows, causing its unconstrained demonstration to concur with need. Be that as it may, on the off chance that the canine doesn't follow, it will be constrained anyway. So it is with men as well, regardless of whether they need to, they will be constrained to follow what is foreordained. He would extend his arm in front of his and show his open palm, and he would highlight his hand and say this is discernment. Then he would somewhat close his fingers, a tiny bit of spot, so presently, he seems to be Zeno with joint pain. 